Hello YouTube, Adopted Mike here, and in this video we'll be taking a look at this cables to go USB IDE or SATA drive adapter. So it's 2.0 USB and it's going to turn any IDE or SATA drive into an external drive. It can handle all types and sizes. Let's look there. Okay. Oop. And there are some features. Okay, so let's open up. We've got the adapter manual. We have the adapter itself. Gosh, I just keep bumping that camera, don't I? We've got a power cord. Which goes into, oh, here it is, okay. Which goes into here, and then it will output a SATA power and a Molex power. These things are pretty cool to have, uh, not just for this particular thing, but they're pretty cool to have around uh, to test fans and stuff uh, as well. So that's a pretty cool item to have. And then we've got an uh, on-off switch here with an LED indicator when it's on. And now the unit itself in this uh, static bag here. Let's see if I got some scissors. Okay, get it out of the static bag. And here we are. So we've got the USB on the end there, then we've got the IDE drive. Okay, I see what we got here. We've got a, uh, yeah, okay, there should be different pins. I can't tell, that might be, um, I thought one might be a 40 and one might be a 44, but they actually, they look pretty close to being the same thing. I'll have to check that out. There's the SATA connection there. No, oh, yep, there is an included uh, SATA cable. So what do we got going on with that uh, seemingly uh, double? Oh, I see. Okay, yep, we do. It's a 40 pin and a 44 pin. I thought so, but gosh, from this, uh, they just look to be the same. Oh, yeah, definitely those are smaller. Okay, so we've got the 40 pin and the 44 pin and then the SATA connection. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hook it up and we'll try it out with a couple of different drives and see what kind of performance we get. Okay, so the first drive we're going to start off with and this is an IDE connection. This is a Maxter 320 gigabyte drive, uh, 7200 RPM. And we're going to be using the Crystal Disk Mark benchmarking utility. And here you go, we're going to do 500 megabyte files for um, all of the drives that I have here. So we'll start off, and I'm only going to do a, uh, a one uh, test run just for time's sake. Um, so anyway, yeah, we'll go ahead and get this started. Okay, so our results for the IDE drive were less than substantial. Um, not very good transfer rates, but you know that's you know it's also USB 2.0 so we can't expect a lot but now I'm gonna move up to a SATA drive um, I'm gonna do a Seagate Barracuda a 2 gigabyte drive so this is a newer one newer than the Maxter obviously and it's SATA um, so maybe we'll get some better performance just out of the controller in general and uh, move up to serial ATA alright so the Seagate's all hooked up and we're good to go. Had to actually uh, initialize that disk, so uh, it is actually yeah, brand spanking new. So there we are. We've got the drive selected, 500 megabytes, and so goes the test. Okay, so even with the SATA drive, it is not much better. So I am going to attempt um, just 
a simple cable change I'm actually gonna go with a higher quality SATA cable and see if that makes a difference uh, or not alright so here's a run after a premium SATA cable was put in and no difference at all so uh, it just looks like the limitations here is either the device or the USB 2.0 and what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to do a crystal uh, disk mark on this uh, USB 2.0 drive here and we'll see if it's the controller or uh, USB. I've honestly uh, never done a crystal disk mark on a USB drive before, uh, 2.0 anyway, so I really don't know where a 2.0 caps out so uh, anyway let's uh, just go along with that test there and see what happens well my opinions are definitely changed right now on the left here is the USB drive and on the right here is the 2 gigabyte Seagate 7200 RPM SATA drive um, yeah so it's not as bad as I thought I guess because even a USB drive really you know isn't doing that much better than um, and in some cases definitely worse than this device so for sure you know that makes quite a bit of a difference there um, yeah so I guess I can totally say that this cables to go little dongle here uh, is actually a really good deal and um, it definitely makes a lot of sense if you uh, you know, <clears throat> I just need to get some a little bit of data off a hard drive. However, if you had to get a lot of data off a hard drive, I definitely would probably look for something uh, a little quicker, like a direct connection or an eSATA, uh, something like that would help. But other than that, uh, this thing is uh, pretty cool and pretty handy. So that wraps it all up. And as always, thank you for watching.